All right, our last retiree. <laughs> I figure this is going to be the barn burner right here. Is Cindy. Cindy Beal. I have worked with Cindy on rep council and during negotiations and always appreciated her contributions to the union. Thank you for your service, Cindy. Thank you. So, Mrs. Beal, you know how sometimes we get on those days and we often complain about our students and their lack of abilities. Uh, but how about that student that realized that if you were rearrange the letters in veal, you could spell evil. <laughs> sometimes out of the mouths of babes, right? I have known Cindy for many years. Uh, but we came, became full-time teachers around the same time, although she was a substitute for quite a few years before I got here. Please do not ask her about this, as she will make you feel badly for getting a job right out of college. <laughs> She'll tell you how many years she had to suffer being a substitute. How many years, Cindy? There you go, seven. I'm sure you've all heard that story hundreds of times. I don't know if you know this or not, but Cindy has always been a slightly, like a slight neat freak. I don't know, maybe you guys didn't know that. If anything is out of place in her classroom, she just has a horrible day. Okay? At least now that you are retiring, you'll have more time to maybe, I don't know, vacuum the inside of your stove or your cooktop. Just make sure your vacuum can handle that dust. Okay? I don't want to get a call later on to come and help me clean up the soot that's all over your class or your house. Okay? I don't have time for that. Yeah. There is no question, though, you might question her sanity, but there's no question Cindy loved teaching. Uh, but she's also, like the rest of us, had some really tough days. Anyone that knows Cindy knows that she's fairly particular. Fairly particular. I guess that is a nice way of saying you know, that she made... Um, we made Barry Wargula look like the wild child in our district. <laughs> the worst day was when Cindy placed her lowercase a's and u's backwards on her back to school board. <laughs> oh my gosh. Luckily, a real friend intervened and the crisis was averted. Cindy, you are the only retiree that I can think of, anyway, <laughs> to bring her own drum bus to the dinner. <laughs> she has the most tables reserved. <laughs> this is kind of like your own private party, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, see? Mm, yeah, I heard. Speaking of parties, speaking of parties, what's a guy got to do to get invited to this Friday curriculum club and run that in your house? Yeah. Uh, to those of you that might be staying tonight at Hotel Cindy, a few words of advice. Do not, do not use the towels that are in the bathroom. Those are for display only. Shoes off when you enter the house. Now they tell me. Now there's just too many other rules, but Cindy, uh, she shared a Google Doc with all of you. Please read it and sign it before you leave here tonight. I heard that one time you went on a cruise with those old teachers. Well, now you're one of those old teachers. Maybe they'll let you back in the group. I don't know. But on that trip, 
Rochelle had to catch you as you exited the slide into the water. I just want you to be careful tonight because Rochelle is not here to catch you. She is not here. <laughs> Cindy also had a tradition or habit of letting the kids take their shoes off. You still do that? What is wrong with you? I just never, I never said this to you before because I didn't want to hurt your feelings, but that's weird. It's just weird, Cindy. I don't know. Is it because you love the sweet smell of stinky feet? Or are you just glad to see someone with feet smaller than yours? <laughs> that Cindy is retiring. Mm -hmm. It's really because, you know, sometimes people think it's like it's age, it's the benefit, it's all that, she's tired of teaching them. It's because Levi Strauss is discon discontinuing the jean jacket. <laughs> There's not gonna be any more jean jackets made. She's gotta go. She said that's it. Yup. Speaking of fashion, Cindy, that's an awful nice dress that you're wearing. Yeah. I heard you had a chauffeur to go get it. So you could just say yes to the dress. I heard that she doesn't say no to much. something with police officers? <laughs> because if it is... Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Welcome, Dano! I'm not sure. I don't know. But anyway, happy retirement, you stinky foot smelling neat freak. Mrs. Evil, I mean, Mrs. Veal. Come on down, Cindy.